Hey guys, welcome to my Corvette vlog. Hey, I'm sporting the Corvette Museum Bash shirt from the Bash last month. Oh yeah, gotta support that. How do you like my product placement? <laughs> Go USA. Hey, I'm gonna start today's vlog off just showing you what I was doing when I was wearing that red, white, and blue suit. I was out front of the dealership just kind of farting around, uh, doing nothing. <laughs> Check this out. you can hear me but this is gonna be what we call vlog fill material <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful day a Memorial Day 2017 and our dealerships not on one of those typical auto miles and right off the freeway type of scenario we're kind of nestled in this little town east of Columbus called Pataskala it's kind of an intimate buying experience a more fun buying experience I'm gonna park myself right out here at the intersection I'm just gonna wave and see how many people wave back and how many people beep so hope you enjoy this little vlog film material. Okay, traffic's picking up. Here we go. Guys, I'm sorry, you guys can't see the cars, but hopefully we get a couple more beeps here. You know what I need? I need one of those signs like the guy stand out in front of the pizza places at the corners and spin it around. Pizza five dollars! <laughs> no, we're not selling Corvettes for five dollars. She drove by, her mouth was hanging open. <laughs> Should have two cameras set up so you guys can see that. It's like. <laughs> Nobody's beeped their horn yet. Beep, beep, I want someone to beep. Hey, is this like the most boring vlog ever? <laughs> I'm having fun. Thanks for joining us, I appreciate it. All right, here comes some cars. My Corvette customers are at home right now enjoying their holiday weekend, watching us on YouTube, Facebook. Ain't nobody here. <laughs> We're open. Oh, yeah. If anything, the whole sole purpose of doing this, just put a smile on somebody's face today. That's all. Probably thinking, what is that guy doing? He's just standing out there. He doesn't have one of those signs. I know I don't have one of those signs, but what is he doing? Hey, did you smile when you walked by? Yeah. Cool. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Elmo helmet. I love it. about all this. Alright, that comes to me to yell. That's got to the yell to me. We got an outburst. They said it's two outbursts. Like that guy just drove by? Again. It's like he's wearing a neck brace. So as many of you saw on Facebook, I'm having lots of fun wearing my patriotic suit here today at work. Memorial Day 2017, absolutely. And hey, 
I always love it when my past customers have an opportunity to come by just to say hi. Uh, Nelson had a brief appearance in one of our vlogs. Got himself a brand new 2017 Grand Sport. He just added some deep dish wheels on it. And I go, I'm going to get my camera. So he ran. He goes, hang on a second. I'm going to get my rag. <laughs> He goes, look, he goes, if you're going to vlog it, let me get the rag and clean the darn things. <laughs> hey, baby, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Ricky in the suit and Nelson. Yeah, a little bit of red, white, yeah, blue. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm glad you stopped by. <laughs> hey, no, seriously, though, check out this car, guys. This looks really good. Just amazing. And what I, was weird is I had to ask him. I said, hey, are these the same factory tires? And they are the same size, but I guess that deep dish just gives it the illusion that the wheel's bigger. Isn't that cool? Wow, look how nice that looks. Yeah. Now, you folks that live in California, you're welcome to drive and just stop on by anytime you want to. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad that he could do that. And I'm glad that we could share it on the vlog with you, but this is really, really cool stuff. So look at that beautiful black Grand Sport. You got a beautiful day. Look at this weather. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Hi everyone and welcome to my Corvette vlog. This is Rick Conti. And let me just stop pretending that I'm starting the vlog and I'm all fresh and I'm all chipper. Let's bring it down an octave. I'm actually recording this. I've been here 12 hours. I'm sitting on the ground. <laughs> I'm worn out, but we're gonna start the vlog. That's the power of editing. We're gonna start the vlog with what I'm doing at the end of the day. Can't figure that out, but it is important. I wanted to talk about the seat adjustment and your power driver seats on your Corvette Stingrays, your Grand Sports, and your Z06s. You know, I get lots of questions from guys that are over six feet tall. They're like, man, I just, I can't get in that car. I love the car, but I just can't get in it. And I can't get situated where I can feel comfortable, where I can even drive the darn thing. Well, I've had guys 6'2", 6'4", 6'6", even 6'7", get in a brand new Stingray. So I've had guys, you know, that are better part of 6'2", all the way up to 6'7". Yes, a 6'7 guy, I've gotten inside a brand new Corvette, but I'll tell you a lot of it, a lot of it also depends on if you're more upper torso or if you're more legs, but it also gets down into just some of the little intricate things as far as adjusting the seat properly to maximize that area so you can get in the car. I've had guys that are 6'2", 6'4", say, now nah, you know what, hey, I'm down here at my local dealer in whatever state that you're calling from, and like, hey, sorry, Rick, I really wanted to buy this car, I just can't get in the car. You know, I've had guys, many guys, 6264, oh my gosh, get in this car, no problem at all. And I know that no one's taking the time to show them how to operate the seat and adjust it properly. So I'm going to do that for you right now. And by doing so, I hope I'm the guy that earned your business. Doot, doot. <laughs> Now the great value story in Corvette is, is that all of them come standard with power seats. Now in your 1LT, the only buttons you're going to have is going to be this one right here for the seat position and then the power recline here. Now when you go to your 2 and 3 packaged Corvettes, whether it be Stingray, Grand Sport, or Z06, you'll have this further button back here that is a multifunctional button. You can move this button up or down and it adjusts your side bolsters in or out, okay? You can also take that same button, push it forward, close up your lower lumbar right here. Well, if you ever get in the car and all of a sudden you find yourself that the seat memory is not working or you're not able to adjust it, it could be this. The seat belt could get caught behind the manual adjuster and it pulls that upward like this. You know, you know, you know what I mean. Sometimes it'll get stuck like that. With this being up like that, it won't allow these features to be operating in the automatic mode. So just make sure your seatbelt's not hung up on that. It happens from time to time, and then you're good to go. Okay, so for your seat adjustment, for you taller guys, this button right here is a key. Not only is it is a back and forth button, and of course you can lift it up to raise the height of the seat, but here's the key. You can adjust the height of the seat two ways, by pushing in the front of this button or the bottom of this button. So you want to make sure that your seat back is up so it's not tilted all the way back. You've got a little room there. I pull it forward so it's not sitting against the far back wall. Then before I put the seat back, I'll push this all the way down. Seat goes down. Look at that, seat's way going down. Push this in the front, it goes down even more. Now I'll slide it back. Have a little bit of room, adjust the back of that seat. You want, you know, for you real tall guys, you want to tilt this back just a little bit, and this is going to maximize this area, the way that you're positioned in the car, down as far as you can, right here, tilted at an angle. This area right here might help you, but it's going to maximize that headroom. And I'm telling you, you 6'4 guys that are emailing me and saying, hey man, I can't get in the car, you can now if you do this. 
Well, I hope showing you that small adjustment helps you guys just a little bit. I know in my heart that if you position your monkey with that front button back and forth a little bit, pushing it down, you know, keeping it away from the back wall, it will give you an opportunity to get in this car and give you an opportunity to enjoy a brand new Stingray. Where the microphone is on this camera, I'm sure you're picking up the guy cutting the grass in the background, but whatever the case is, hey, stay tuned to our vlogs because as we're flipping into June, we're going to get some new GM incentives. We're hoping we can, <laughs> please, we need some help, GM. So GM incentives on the 2017 Corvettes, and I'll post and talk about those with you right here on the vlog, so stay tuned for that. And I'm sure that we're going to get some nice trade-ins in as well. So I'm sure you can still hear the lawnmower in the background, but I always like to share little snippets of my day with you guys. Again, spent a uh, better part of my afternoon with a really, really nice couple. Uh, they were not into uh, being on the vlog, and that's cool. I appreciate that. Not everybody's into this, but you guys gotta remember, you are the vlog, and I'm just the vehicle facilitating, sharing the Corvette lifestyle, and I'm having a blast doing it. So Diana and Andy came in today to look at a Corvette. Here's what I thought was bizarre. They went to another dealership. They live about an hour and a half from here. Okay, so they walked into a dealership, actually saw a Corvette at that dealership that they wanted to buy. The guy wouldn't let them test drive it. Hey dude, thanks for being a dummy. Because they were really cool people and they bought a Corvette today. Although it felt like a circus. Do, 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 do. <laughs> gray one, silver one, gray one, silver one, gray one, silver one. <laughs> Couldn't make up their mind. We're doing the paperwork. Can't make up their mind. No, we're gonna do that one. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. We're gonna do the paperwork. No, we'll go ahead and take that one. No, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's go back to that one. <laughs> They're calling the bank, calling the insurance company, changing VIN numbers. But at the end of the day, they picked the Watkins Glen Gray Stingray Coupe chrome wheels with the red interior. And it was pretty cool, I thought it was neat, because Andy sat inside of it and he saw, it was a 2LT car, so he sees some of the red accents inside, the red paddles, and he goes, now this is a Corvette. <laughs> he was just ready to go. So that was pretty cool, so congratulations. I just want to thank them right here on the vlog, even though you don't want to be on the vlog, but kind of share that with the rest of you that are watching the channel, so thanks again for that. What, are you guys waiting for me to say something? <laughs> this is the this is the part of the vlog before I start recording that I'm thinking about what I want to say, but wasn't quite sure what I was going to say. So actually, this is a wasted segment of absolutely nothing because I have nothing to say. I was just thinking, but actually, besides thinking about what I wanted to talk to you guys about, uh, it's just a really nice night. I mean, uh, the sun setting, as you saw just in the previous clip uh, with it behind me, and uh, it's about 75 degrees. It's a little bit of a breeze. Now if I just had a lake and a hammock, some fruit, yeah, I'd, I'd be all set. I'd fall asleep right here on the vlog, but I'd be all set. <laughs> One of the guys are leaving right now, and they're watching me, and they're like, here's that idiot talking to himself on the camera again, but there's actually people that watch this. So it's not, although it looks like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> See you, Dave. <laughs> you guys know what I mean, right? Right, okay, sorry. Well, I mean, the appearance is people walk by and see me just staring at this camera. It's just, <laughs> you just never know, so, all right. In your face, in your face. And so, so congratulations to both of you. I just know you're gonna take great care of it. Um, I hope that your schedule permits you to, to take it out, and show it off, get some trophies, and boast that it's a one of one, all right? Can't wait. I don't wanna sit here and idle. Get in, hit the one on the right, that's the freaking gas pedal, and let's go!